the 20 years we all be right now we are slaves, but in the future it will be harder and harder and tighter and tighter and more difficult. You know, it's interesting what you're saying. Um, you're talking about the new world order, globalization, yeah. um, international governments that have no allegiance to any one state or any one continent. Now, there's a part of me, this is controversial to say, because you're actually uh, wearing a shirt that I made a song about. <laughs> Um, 9 11 was an inside job. Uh, yeah. Um, that right there is uh, something that I definitely believe uh, on that. But here's the thing what is the future? What does the future really look like? Every generation gets told the same thing. The future, you're going to be a slave. It's going to be worse for you, it's going to be harder for you. It's not necessarily the truth. It is, because my generation was told the same thing. When I was like 18, I would hear how Ronald Reagan is really the devil and he's gonna destroy everything. And then he really did. He did do his evil. And believe it or not, let me just go right into crack cocaine because Ronald Reagan is directly responsible for that. President Ronald Reagan, Oliver North, they bring crack cocaine into the, into the American Hood, okay. Now look at this. Before all of that, that was like 83, 85. Go back to 73 to 75. There were people on the corner like me saying, yo, listen, in a few more years, something evil is coming to this land. Don't get caught up in this, this bling bling. Don't get caught up in that. Stay with your culture. Your collective consciousness, stay with what's good. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Black Panthers, let's stay around there. Everybody laughed at that person. Everybody said, man, you still preaching? All you want to do is just, you can't judge me. You... Now, Ronald Reagan instituted the slavery. It wasn't a whip. It wasn't the Ku Klux Klan. It was crack cocaine. Came in. Everybody hitting the pipe, all of them went down in slavery. The ones that stayed with their culture, some of us fought against it, made records and rhymes and defied the cops and fought against it. We're still here. Others wanted the product so they could be a celebrity. They lost. Not just, that's the first thing you lose always. But then they lost their physical body. They lost their heritage. They lost their incomes. And, and I'm not saying this also, I, again, when discussing this type of matter, you got to be sensitive to the people who just don't know or to the people who got caught up in something they had no idea what they, because that still happens to them. But we do have choices. When the prophet is speaking in your neighborhood, Maybe your grandmother, maybe somebody you don't know, just that old gray haired guy that keeps mumbling, get out, get a job, get to learn something, that old gray haired guy. We're always pushing him off to the side. Oh man, you don't know nothing. Oh, you old woman, that's the way we used to do it. We don't do it that way, no, you're just old fashioned. That is what kills people. I've seen it about three times now where we know what's about to happen to us. We preach against it. We come up with all kind of plans. Then it happens. And the very people that said, it will never be me, are the very ones falling victim. And the ones that you thought would be the ones to get caught, they the ones like, nah, I'm good. And they move on. No one ever wants to say this, but I'm going to say it here now. It's, it's kind of a harsh thing to say, but I'll say it. It's the... If you look at the fans of those in the 80s, like just look at all the music of the 80s from 81 to 91, and everybody in between, those that were KRS fans, Public Enemy fans, X-Clan fans, they're the ones running the countries now. They're the ones that avoided the crack cocaine scene. 
If you was of an era in the 80s, not many people want to say they don't want to, they don't want to bear this guilt, they don't want to bear this burden. That if you was one of them people during the 90s, say for instance, come out of crack, because we all talking that crack, come to diamonds. Okay, that's more recent. Blood diamonds, Africans getting their hands and arms cut off for trying to steal a diamond. The dead picking, they're finding the diamonds. They try to keep one, they're getting hands and feet chopped off. Blood diamonds. Charles Taylor, president of uh, 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 Liberia, uh, just went to The Hague, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, you know, was convicted as a criminal. Um, all the while that Charles Taylor's doing his thing in the country with these blood diamonds and financing wars, same thing going on throughout the coast of Africa, other, you know, blood diamonds. Rappers are all through the 90s. My ice this, ice that. I'm icy. Now, as you icy, you didn't realize that the reason you got those diamonds on is because your brother, your sister in another country is getting chopped off because you are driving the market for diamonds, okay? Now, everybody, they wore their diamonds, bought their diamonds, rocking diamonds. Why are they not wearing them now? Look at rappers today on TV. Nobody's really rocking diamonds like they used to. Icy, so you get one or two idiots. You know, I'm still icy. But the most, for the most part, for the most part though, the majority of rappers moved away from diamonds. Moved, yes, yeah, good looking. Oh, uh, okay, good. Moved away from diamonds. Uh, uh, moved away from diamonds. They're embarrassed. The things you sing along with, the things you purchase, and this is answering your question, really, about the future and all of this. As long as you stay close to the earth, you won't have a problem with the world. The world is man-made. The, the, very, the very definition of world is human activity. The world is an illusion. When you turn on CNN or BBC or Sky News or whatever it is, that's the world. They're making that stuff up. The earth, the earth is always the ruler. And the earth is always at peace. Always. The world could be at war. Get to the earth. The earth is at peace. So, and I will say to you in this instance that those that listen to people like KRS-One and not just in rap, you read a book, Noam Chomsky's work or Howard Zinn's work on history or anyone that's trying to educate people. If you keep your eye focused there, you don't have nothing to worry about globalization, new world order. You don't have nothing to worry about. As a matter of fact, all of that will work for you. It'll work to your advantage. Everything going on. This is the secret. These politicians, they know where the earth is. So they're trying to get you to join their world. Once you're in their world, then you got to think about globalization, new world order, this, that, and the other. Even the word new world order... That's not even George Bush's word. That's an ancient philosophical term that happened many times in human history. There was a new world order. America itself was supposed to be a new world order. The Dutch has a new world order. Matter of fact, the Dutch was on a new world order for real, for real. We talking hip hop for real. Before we even was able to rap, we had to answer these questions first. The Angel K. Hip hop, you guys will be the greatest ever, but Tupac, Biggie, Scott LaRock, Big L, Big Pun, Easy E, Freaky Ty, Heavy D, I la la. They all gotta go. Had the Angel came to us in 87 and said, listen, KRS, you'll be the greatest MC ever. <laughs> <laughs> but Scott LaRock gotta go. <laughs> <laughs>